Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Vine podcast for Saturday, February 20th, 2016. As of this morning, Sierra is still missing. So, yeah, I was, I was, I was discussing with somebody at work the, the joys and trials of home ownership. Yeah, he's he's uh, looking to be moving and is kind of contemplating should I rent an apartment? Should I own a house? Buy a house? What should I do? And, you know, he was like, well, you know, an apartment's just wasting money. And, you know, I, I don't know that I totally agree with that with that viewpoint, you know, because you got the whole, you know, there, there, there's always been people say, well, you should buy a house because in a house, you, you know, you're building equity. Your money is working for you, blah, 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 blah. And, and that's true to a certain degree. However, you know, we have experience now, you know, in the post-2008-2009 world, you know, people who really should have known better have learned that, geez, housing prices do not always go up. They can go down. For some reason, that we learned this in, in one of my finance classes, that, you know, the mortgage industry and the real estate industry had kind of diluted themselves. That, geez, house prices have, been, prices have been going up for so long that they will always go up. And uh, no, they don't have to. Well, generally, due to things like inflation and whatnot, yeah. And, of course, if you make improvements... But not all the time. So, you know, I, I was I was telling him, I said, you know, you know, homeownership is great. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, I we've owned a, the home we're in now for for seventeen years, and I'm not sure if it's actually in the long run. I haven't looked to see what the valuation is recently. I'm not sure if we surpassed the valuation of what it was when we bought it. Probably have, but I'm not sure because we went below it during 2009-2010 quite a bit because the real estate market here in the Detroit area just was horrible and it still I mean it's it's really still recovering it didn't you know some areas just sprung right back you know by about 2011 or something and this is not one of those areas it has been slow going So, yeah, so, you know, homeownership is great. You own your own place. If you want to put a nail on a wall, you can. If you want to put a fist on a wall, <laughs> you can. You know, it's your place. You know, within, you know, things like homeownership, uh, 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 homeowner association, you know, as far as outdoor stuff, you know, you can do whatever you want. But but what, what people that will trot out that, oh, you need to buy a house because your money's working for you. You know, what people will, 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 will forget, will not bring up, is the fact that, okay, so you buy the house, you buy a house for $150,000, and, and you know, if that house appreciates 5% a year, yeah, you're, you're, you're quote, making money, unquote. Um, obviously, those aren't realized gains until you sell the house. But on paper, you know, your net worth has gone up because the value of your asset has gone up. But what they aren't telling you is what you got to put into the home. Uh, you know, there's always something that needs fixing of varying degrees of costliness. The reason I am out today is because last night, um, you know, I, last night I noticed we had a leak. There's been a couple times when we've seen, I've seen a bit of water on the floor, and I thought it was just because I was being sloppy with dishwater, because it was always when we were washing dishes. 
But, you know, last night I noticed, I think I'd like, I think I'd like, um, sprayed out some dishes or something like that. I hadn't really washed dishes, but I've been running the sink a little bit, that there was water on the floor. And I, and I looked underneath the sink before and I thought, well, that area is dry. The area right in front of the door was dry. I'm thinking, well, I don't see any water here. So it's been a bit of a puzzle for a little bit. <clears throat> but I noticed there was water and... I looked and I and I looked a little deeper and kind of behind all the stuff that's right up by the door, you know, I could tell, yeah, the, there, there was water there. We had a leak. So this morning I pulled everything out to try to find out where the leak is. And it's leaking right out of our garbage disposal. So I'm on my way to Home Depot to get a new garbage disposal. It's going to be... Eh, 90 to 100 dollars for that you know, that wasn't in this month's budget and you know, we, we've we, we account for that in our budget that you know something sometimes stuff happens but you know there there, there are you know with, with home ownership there also come there also come you know responsibilities to maintain the home and if you don't maintain the home that's only going to hurt your value so it behooves you to maintain the home. Um, and, and the thing about renting is you don't pay those things when you're renting. You know, you're paying rent and your garbage disposal starts leaking. You just call up the landlord and say, hey, my garbage disposal is leaking. And they'll send over, you know, somebody to come fix it or replace it. So I, I'm not totally, you know, especially if you're just starting out, renting is probably a good choice because then you can be, you can be, A, you're minimizing what you got to spend. You're just spending for, for, um, you know, use of the place. You don't have to worry about mowing the lawn unless you're renting like a house, but, you know, you don't have to deal with the maintenance issues. So I, I think there are arguments both ways, you know. There are arguments both ways. Obviously, if you want to be, you know, live in a space and you want to knock down walls and totally rearrange it, yeah, you know, apartment living's not for you. Or even renting a house is not for you. If you're just starting out and you want to save up money for a down payment, then maybe renting is the thing for you because you don't have to worry about a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, extra expenses. You don't have to deal with mowing the lawn. And you, yeah, you can hire all that that stuff out if you own a house. You know, one, one of my dreams is is down the road. I want to hire out mowing the lawn. I've already I've already gotten to the point where we hire out spring and fall cleanup because it's just. Especially fall, where we get we get like a, a a million billion leaves. It's just too dang much for me anymore. And uh, you know, where it would take me, you know, two or three weekends, yeah, you know, I can hide, I can let it pile up, and then I can I can call the people that do it for us, and they'll have it done in like five hours. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's, I like that. that. That's good. And I just look out the window and watch them. Yeah, yes. That's my kind of thing. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Here I am on my home improvement. Um, home improvement uh, you know, junket here to go get a new disposal. Um you know, I just I was thinking about that conversation, and the reality is, is, is you know, you can't take some trite phrase and say that's the right answer for everybody. Everybody should, you know, be in a house because it's the smartest thing to do with your money, and you know that depends on a number of factors. It depends on, of course, the location. It depends upon the quality of the house. It depends upon your income. You know, if you can just barely squeak by, 
you know, buying a house and getting a mortgage for that house and you're you're just really tight, 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 and your garbage disposal goes out, you know, hundred bucks is a big fracking deal. That's a big deal. You know, so you gotta you gotta buy smart. Not only in relation to your budget as well as all these other factors. So sometimes just renting is the is the smarter choice, despite conventional wisdom. And you know, I would I would I would postulate here we go, I'll get into my academic voice. I would postulate that, you know, following the real estate bubble of two thousand eight, two thousand nine that accepted wisdom probably needs to get reevaluated because now we know the price doesn't always have to go up. Anyway, I'm going to let that be that. I will be back on Monday, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.